She turned to me and said, Oh, Father, if you only knew how hungry I am. Her face appeared to me like the face of an angel, radiating rays of light and somehow transfigured, so that I said to myself, that face is not Catherine's. We're in Siena, and we're, you're looking at San Domenico, St. Dominic's Church, which was so important to Catherine, where she had so many of her mystical experiences. And after communion, oftentimes she would go into ecstasy, and this caused a lot of trouble for people. For her, God was not only her center, he was her life. She had given her heart, her whole soul, her whole mind to Christ. And where she found Christ was in the Eucharist. Every time she were, used the word, precious blood. Every letter she writes of her 300 letters begins, I greet you in the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ crucified and of gentle Mary, dearest revered father in Christ, gentle Jesus, I, Katerina, servant and slave of the servants of Jesus Christ, am writing to you in his precious blood. A lot of people ask me, uh, where is God? Where is God? Where do you find God? Many people find God in the woods, you know, taking a life's walk, you know, the trees. I, I think that's very beautiful. The Lord is present in the woods, in the peace, in the birds. Truly, He's present. There's no question about it. For most people, especially our um, Protestant brothers, they get the present in the Word, the living Word of God. How fabulous, you know. The living word of God enters us and feeds us, and there's no doubt of his presence, even more so. He's more present in the scripture than he is in the woods. He's present in people. We're each a temple of the Lord, you know. And every time you do something for someone else that's good, Jesus said, you did it to me. He's present in our joys and in our sorrows. There's no question about it. However, He's present in a unique way, very unique and only in the Eucharist. We as Catholics believe that the Eucharist is truly God. When Jesus said, take, eat, this is my body, many people left him, many people walked away. And the danger in today's world is people say, well, he's present in the Eucharist, he's present in the woods, he's present everywhere. But the church teaches us, uh, representing Christ, that Jesus in the Eucharist is the living God. And you might say, would you really believe that you're that little wafer is God? And we have to say, yes, we do.